Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and event immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. Okay? As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Really quickly, I don't know who you are. You're planning on going into the woods or something to do some type of ritual. I'm being told to tell you do not do that. It's going to backfire on you horribly. There's something something about you wanting to hold on that you need to move on, okay? There's something about you that I don't know what, what it is with your mental, your emotional well-being. You don't know how to let go of things. You are out here out upset and holding some type of grudge against someone that has done nothing to you. I don't know if someone made you some type of false promises or you're under some type of false pretenses that someone did something to you. So you've made it your life mission to be vengeful towards someone and you're, pl you're planning on going out into the woods to do rituals. They're going to backfire on you horribly. Okay, so I will thread with caution with whatever it is you're planning. Also, there's someone out here planning to go and take someone else out. Now, I don't care if someone is karmic, someone is a light worker. We should not be out here plotting things like that. It is never that serious. It is never that serious. Like, if you're at that point where you're plotting on taking someone out, you need to, like, Maybe just distance yourself from people, especially that person. I don't know what they did to you. I don't want to pretend to know everything because nobody knows everything. But separate yourself from them. If anything, you can. if they did something to you, you can report them to the police or something like that. But don't be out here throwing your life away because someone did something stupid or maybe they misled you down the wrong path or something like that. But whoever you are... Whether you're the one trying to pop out someone or go out into the wilderness to do more rituals, you may not want to. It's not going to end very well. Um, for the collective soul tribe, in general, uh, someone out there, you may be receiving some type of communication, positive news about an Ace of Pentacles offer that you maybe have been expecting on a spiritual level. Uh, there's been some type of conflict when it comes to you receiving this offer. You've had a lot of people trying to make sure that you don't receive this offer. So you've had people trying to have you move on from your commitment in life so that you can be in distress, going through towers, being rejected by your emperor, having him walk away. But your emperor is doing the right thing, actually balancing things out, maybe taking action to come in and tell you about some type of abundance that was left for you. Uh, it's either in an institution. This may be something that's being protected by the the core system that you are not aware of. But rest assured that something will be balanced out. You will receive your Ace of Pentacles offer. You are in your Queen of Wands energy, which means that you're someone that's more than likely on in like the mindset of defending yourself, standing up for yourself and things like that. Whoever is coming towards you finds you to be very attractive, very beautiful, find you to be a little bit on the feisty side of things, but they don't care. It's okay. I think someone understands why it is that you've been in this energy of the Queen of Wands is because people have been trying to cause endings in your life. So this is why he or she understands why you're showing up in your Queen of Wands energy. There's also another the queen of wands behind the scenes going through some type of ending for trying to block a love offer uh some type of equal give and take between two people and uh, maybe she didn't know that people were watching her or that people knew exactly what it is she was doing this is someone who's a bit of a gossiper into like dark energy Everything they do is based off of manipulation. There's nothing genuine about whoever this other queen of wands is. This is someone that's in the reverse. And literally every reading I've done when she does show up, she'll either show up in the reverse or there's some type of card around that'll let me know or let us know that a sister is back. She has something to say. She wants us to know that she's still here. Like literally someone trying to just dominate the readings and things like that. But you are someone that knows that this chapter is over. Of people 
causing a lot of lies and deceits and things like that when it comes to who you are people doing rituals because basically what it is people have been doing and maybe a lot of people don't see these kind of things as rituals when you go out of your way to manipulate to lie slander defame people those are forms of dark magic because what you're doing is changing someone's image you are projecting onto them how you want other people to see them even though they are not their way for example, there's a queen of pentacles in the reverse within a community, or this could be a queen of swords in the reverse, in a community that has some type of elitist mindset. Someone is like in denial that you collective, uh, there's a feminine energy that she says she refuses to see as an empress. She will see you maybe like as a queen of cups or something, but she's refusing to see you as an empress, but that's not really her place to decide. This is someone that has gone out of her way to temper with people, uh, uh stabilities, finances, not just you, but the very people that she worked with in this institution. She's been taking, she's been taking actions against them, right? To temper with their income, their resources and things like that, balancing their lives out, blocking opportunities for people. And you, you move that way. And then you think you have a place to judge other people and decide who is an empress, who is not an empress, who's an emperor, who is not an emperor. You're not even residing in any of those energies. What it is you're doing is telling people that you are immature, insecure, and you don't care how your actions affect other people. So that means that you don't have a place to judge. You don't have a place to tell people what it is you think. No one is going to take you serious because what? Your mindset is not stable enough. It's not mature enough to give any type of logical advice because it's coming from a place of maliciousness. So you need to hold back when you are giving, when, when you come up with these uh, advices. Be cautious. There is a king of wands out here that may be telling a lot of lies, still living in some type of misconception, under some type of misconception. Is it someone maybe refusing to see the truth or tell the truth about something? So he may still be lying about something behind the scenes. But rest assured, people do have four side of what is going on so people may be standing up against him or telling him the truth like they're standing their ground someone may be upset again because they know if they come towards you you're going to be defensive because you're going to see right through them you're a queen of cups so you have that inner eye that a lot of other people may not have to the extent that you have right because you are someone that embraces your embraces your a uh, 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 creative creative and imaginative side so you have the queen of cups has like a very specific access when it comes to spirituality because they're loving because they're kind because they're nurturing they have a very easy and direct connection to source so source communicates with this kind of feminine energy very easily uh, or this aspect of us very easily because what men and women have both energies within them it's just that one can be dominant at one moment and the other can be dominant at the next moment it just depends on the time place and event okay there she goes this queen of wands that i mentioned right the one that's in that's uh in the reverse there she goes being a narcissist this could be the woman that's refusing to let go of something someone is going to take some type of action to come towards you to cause you some type of ending and it's going to lead to her ending it's like someone now realizing that they're plotting their own ending. So this could be the one with the papal that she's going to come out and do you something. It's going to backfire horribly. It's that someone is gun ho and taking someone else down or destroying you. There's something she stole or tried to steal from you. And she wants to come in and destroy you and you or something before you can receive what it is that's yours. Because she already received communication that... She's not getting what it is she thought she was going to get. It's like someone trying to force things to go her way. And the fact that people know the truth, how she went about getting something or how it is that she wants to get something. They don't want to go along with this. This has to do with a Ten of Pentacles energy. She is trying to let, trying to have you trapped either have you in some type of legal issues that like someone has been trying to set you up to basically be taken out so that she can receive your abundance i saw like a blonde woman in a dream that has been out here doing a little bit too much um lying manipulating all kinds of stuff for some money a house or something like that now i don't know if this is the queen of wands is doing this or the queen of pentacles the queen of swords they're all in the reverses as you know they've been coming out repeatedly in our readings but whoever this one is specifically something is about to backfire like the whole family that's been working with her if you all don't balance things out because what i picked up on is like a karmic family that just does not know how to let go how to operate from their higher vibrational energy like they're just refusing to grow up this is you us future as a whole the whole family okay 
So if you all were stable before in a Ten of Pentacles energy, it's about to be really depleted and really sad. Like a whole family is, is about to be taken down because, well, one, is a family of narcissists. It's a family of people acting out of ego and things like that. And they know they're wrong. They're doing all of this for money at the end of the day. It's like they said, we've come so far to make sure that we can have this money. We are going to have this money. There could be people walking away, but she says she refuses to let go. Someone is crying a lot behind the scenes because she's going through her ending. It's like the, 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 the game is over. The veil has been pulled down. People see the truth. People know exactly what is going on. This woman is headed for an ending that she won't be able to recover from. And she's going to have to move on and maybe commit herself to healing. But this is not someone that cares about healing. All this person does is rituals. You need to take a new path and decide, you know, where, what it is, where it is you want your life to head. Because the path that you're on is not going to end bad for anyone but you. There's nothing you can do to the person that you are going towards that's not going to backfire and i don't know if you all feel like you are invincible because you have connections in the police in the police uh force or whatever it is in the legal system don't went out here bribing judges and lawyers and things like that to make life go in your favor so you can steal people's abundance and things like that there's some type of message a woman received that someone else is going to be getting the abundance that belongs to them so all the manipulations all the conniving moves, being cunning, being malicious, being whatever, it all backfires. So she may want to come and meet with you. Maybe this is something. So this is how she was going to do it initially. Someone was going to come towards you initially to apologize, to mend things with you, ask you to see if she can keep something she either stole, try to get you to walk away from what belongs to you. It's not happening. Now that she knows you don't care about an apology from her, you don't see her as a friend, never will see her as a friend. You two are not from the, you two are not the same, basically. You're not interested in being in any type of collaboration with this woman because you know, as a high priestess, which is how I saw you, you know this woman is not about anything good. Someone comes with a lot of negative and just darkness to them. Like this is the kind of person that enter a room and on a spiritual level, everything goes black, Okay. Um, so she, now that she knows you're not going to be reconciling with her, she's not about to come in and feed you any, any of her, any of her narcissistic speeches and you're going to fall for it. Now she's back to her evil ways. Her, her Like this is how she's always been. She knows she can't manipulate you. So she's back to, well, if I can't come in and manipulate you, I'm going to come in and take you out. It's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. And this, uh, what I'm hearing as well, this has to do with blocking two people from coming together. Cannot. There's a wealthy man that wants to give to a feminine energy and they've been trying to block this. It is going to happen. Okay. Someone is going to be very affluent in the, in, uh, uh, I was going to say in the universe, maybe it is on a universal level. Um, but, uh, uh, in the world, someone is going to be very affluent. People are going to respect this person, whoever this is, like you're going to have some type of authority, that people will have to respect, people will have to, not will have to, but people will just respect you naturally and trust it, what it is that you do because you're someone of substance, someone of self, self-respect, like you respect other people, you treat people with dignity and respect, something she knows very little about. And because someone has been trying to pretend to be you so that they can receive what is yours and it's not panning out in their favor, this is why she wants to come out to block something or stop something from happening because this woman is living living in fear of you having, well, your abundance, you having a happy family, you being shared with people loving you, people celebrating with you, you connecting with your soul tribe and everything. Because what, when you connect with your soul tribe and people are, you know, happy and sharing with you and you're living in bliss, she don't have anything over you. This is someone with like a very vain and superficial mindset where it's like, well, I'm pretty and, you know, I got the man, I got the money, I got the education, I got the this, I got the dad. And it's that you're missing the whole point. Like anyone can come out here and get a bachelor's degree. Anyone can come out here and get a master's degree as long as they're willing to put in the effort. Anyone can get a man. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what it is, what do you really have over anyone else? Nothing. Because you don't have a good character. Your mind is effed up royally impossible to freaking mend how it is you view life because everything is about you 
you're a lost cause. You don't have anything to brag about. And this is why she's living in fear because what she and her friends are living in fear. I don't know if it's like three witches that got together and decided we're going to go take this person down and they can't take you down or something like that, whatever this is. But life just does not operate the thing the way this woman thinks it operates. This is someone that's been used to like getting her way. She's been able to manipulate for years behind the scenes and make things go her way. They're not going her way now. Someone may have told either a queen of wands in the reverse no, or someone may have told a queen of pentacles in the reverse no, and they are out here losing their mind, maybe even feeling embarrassed. But you know what? They're sad because what well, this chapter is over. You're going to be receiving a commitment or something, some type of offer. Just throw it with caution as well with this offer that you are going to be receiving. Like this woman is losing a like I see someone that's just restless, someone's not getting enough sleep, someone is agitated, like irritated because what, they're not getting enough sleep, they're out here on some type of vendetta to destroy someone, so of course, they're easily irritable, this woman is naturally easily irritable, and then you topple that with the fact that she's not getting sleep, she's out here on a mission to destroy someone that's not paying her any mind, may not even know her, it's crazy. It's dangerous. She's dangerous at this point, but there's something she's going to do that's going to lead to an ending for her. Someone has been, st I'm talking, you, telling you whatever plan she has to come towards you, to give you a piece of her mind or to take you out. It's basically to end you. It's not going to end well. Someone is about to end up in the justice system and locked up. OK, maybe she thinks that she's about to come in and take you out. It's not going to go as according as you plan, ma'am. It's not going to go according to, to plan. So you may want to sit down come up with a new offer. I don't know who it is you're paying. I'm telling you, someone is used to paying to get things to go in her favor. And there could be something where she tried to pay someone and they're not accepting that pay from her. So it's like someone is thinking now, oh, so this is what you've been doing all these years, paying people behind the scenes to make things go in your favor. She's out here paying for someone to come and set you up so that you can end up locked up. You can end up trapped or something like what is wrong? What's wrong with you? Like someone just does not get it. Like two and two just does not click for someone because their mental is just gone. And it's all because of money. Someone has come, came out here, paid a whole like another reckless energy just like her to come out and cause you distress they say hey go in and give them a love offer trap them so that he does not go towards her to give her an offer it's a disappointment they're going to reject whoever it is you're sending you're sending someone towards a high priestess that knows exactly whether this is man or woman you're sending this person to they know what the plot is you are the one in this energy you are wanting to defeat someone so you can, can what get and receive some type of offer but you're out here paying people to what trap someone play mind games like you're still out here doing the same thing that you should not be doing and it's excuse me it's not going to lead to anything but disappointment the cars came out the same again the three cars came out the same disappointment tower moving on you're going to have to move on it's not going to end in your favor you're about to be out here like in limbo i don't limbo is a, a understatement the, the kind of where you're about to end up is going to be nothing but fear and anxiety. You're afraid of people knowing what it is you've been doing to the extent that you've been doing it. They know you're wasting your time pretending like you don't like people don't know you're not getting something. It's not meant for you. It's not part of your calling. I'm telling you, it's not part of your calling. You receive some type of news that you're not getting some type of abundance. You try to steal someone's inheritance. You try to steal someone's inheritance. You try to destabilize someone. You try to take someone's independence away. May have even tried to steal someone's money. As far as like what they have in their bank account, try to steal someone's either work. You've been doing a lot behind the scenes and you're receiving communication that you are not getting. Okay. <clears throat> excuse me you're not getting what belongs to someone and that's what you don't want to hear because when i just said that it's like i choked up a little okay you you're out here you feel lonely you feel rejected you feel isolated isolated you feel dissatisfied because things are not going in your favor you're used to things going in your favor but the way you're going about it is not leading to success and i don't even care if you change your tactics at this point it's not going in your favor you've gotten accustomed to stealing from people and getting away from with it but this time around, you're not getting away with it. And it's because people are seeing you for exactly who you are. And I think I've warned you before. 
I've warned you before on this platform that things were, yes, 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 yes. I've warned you before about all of your malicious deeds you were doing behind the scenes and you thought no one was going to find out. You've gotten accustomed to things going the way you wanted. You said you pull out some money, you pay people, you spread your legs, and then, you know, people do what it is you want them to do. It ain't working no more. You're not getting something. You're not getting something. You're not, you're being ignored by people. It, there may be someone you're trying to force some type of relationship with. I'm telling you, you, your family, you're not getting this abundance. Whatever this is, I'm getting seeing something physical like material wealth. You try to steal. You try to trap and hold on to someone's material wealth. You try to block someone of high honor. You're not. It's not happening. It's not happening. I'm telling you, it's not happening. Whoever you were trying to block, the high priestess fell out. Whoever you were trying to block and whoever you're sending towards them, you may want to not do that. You're not going to be able to block them. This is not, and this is their justice. It's their protection. This is not going the way you thought it was. It's a family out here, y'all, that's just greedy. Just greedy for no reason. They don't want to work. They don't want to have to work for nothing. Don't know nothing about a, a, a business or anything. This high priestess is getting wish fulfillment. I'm telling you. Like someone is about to go from having to like budget really tight to living like fulfilled. They're going to be fulfilled. They're going to be fulfilled. While you're out here pressed in distress, bothered by someone, you're about to be out here in distress. Like, honey, I don't even know what to tell you. And look at this. You're trying to temper with someone's energy. Like someone is balanced as heck. Something should have been like, let go of a long time ago. Like you're in some type of energy that other people around you don't even reside with. But this is you and your family. You're still out here trying to network and destroy someone's life because you don't want them to be seen as someone that's stable, someone that's self master, someone that knows what it is they're talking about. This is why you're out here trying to defeat them. This is an ascendant master, a whole magician you are trying to destroy. Meaning they have not only the physical tools that they need to get on their journey, but they have the support of the universe. So someone has spiritual and material knowledge to achieve or, you know, fulfill their, their destiny. So you're not blocking nothing. The only person you're blocking is yourself. And this person knows about their abundance. They know their path. Someone knows who they are. You don't know who you are. What you are is greedy, just like your, your, your family is what was going to come out. What you are is greedy, and you are, are about to be very disappointed. Going to have to cut your losses and move on. Like You are headed to the penitentiary, if you don't know. So you can be out here stalking, trying to cause someone fear, wanting them to believe that something is not over. You're sending someone to worse them to try one last time. It's not going to go in your favor. Like, I don't know if you're sending a lover to a queen of wands or just sending someone like a, a, an impulsive knight of wands or something to do something to someone. He's rejected. She, that woman is not interested. He's coming towards a, a, a whole high priestess. She's not interested. I'm telling you, she's not interested. You're out here doing rituals there. You're out here doing more rituals. I don't know what the rituals are doing for you if you're still having to do having to do them at this point. I'm telling you, you are paying people to stalk someone and the person you're stalking, they know. You got a whole magician out here that knows. They have an understanding of what it is you are doing, who you're paying, what you're paying them. What they're doing, everything, you, like it, it's the end, and they know it's the end for. I told you, it's not gonna end well for you. It's not. This ritual you're doing with this King of Swords to plot someone's ending, trying to come up with ways what on the on how to end this chapter so they don't receive some type of contract. You're under judgment. It's not going to end well. Someone is trapped in something they cannot get out of, so they're trying to temper with someone else's stability, livelihood, whatever this is, offers, options. No one trapped you but yourself. You are someone that refuses to take accountability for your actions. There's a hype that like you, it's that like you are a queen of wands in the reverse out here trying to pretend to be a queen of wands in the upright. This is a whole different queen of wands in the upright. And this is a whole different queen of wands that's out here being a narcissist. You ain't getting your way. This is why you're trapped. 
You've been paying people to trap someone of high honor. You want people to see this woman as someone that's not of high honor. They already know. It don't matter how you see this woman. It don't matter how you think this, these resources are going to be dispersed. It's going to who it is, the family that deserves it. And it ain't you. Okay? Someone else, the, the, not you, the one in reverse, the, high, the, the uh, uh, queen of wands in the upright will be receiving wish fulfillment. So you're wasting your time. Okay? You trapped yourself in something you cannot get out. There's a masculine that's trapped as well. Cannot get out of what it is that uh, 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 they partook in. And instead of sitting back, looking at things from a higher perspective, looking at the bigger picture and seeing why did I end up here? No, you two have gotten together or you two have decided individually in your minds that you're going to come out and do someone something. Because what you're trapped and can't get away is called. It's called what? Accountability. And I know that's something a lot of us like to avoid. We don't want to take accountabilities for our actions. There could be a kink of wands behind the scenes that's burning inches and things like that. Because what? An empress energy that they've been trying to destroy and plotting against will be having a new beginning. Okay? They've been plotting to end someone. They have you living in fear. Have you self-sabotage so that what? A man of high honor or a gentleman of high honor does not come in and give to you. They want you to self-sabotage so bad that you're out on the street begging for money. This is how destable, this unstable these people want you to be. This is how much they want to destabilize you. So that what? You can move on or someone can move on and not give you a contract. But guess what? Someone is coming towards you to give you some type of opportunity. Someone, your, your work will be seen. You will be revered. Like people are going to love what it is you do. So don't even worry about it. Whatever these people are doing, let them go ahead and keep doing it. It's only going to backfire. As you can see, they don't went from the freaking eight of swords to the death. Something is about to end so bad that like, people are going to be terrified. And this is all because someone is a narcissist and they want to be seen as a magician. They want to be seen as someone that's in the upright. Like, no, I know more than she does. I know more than he does. No, you don't. No, you don't. What you've been doing is stealing from people. This is, th th since I do terror, let me use that as an example. This will be someone that watches other people's terror videos. This will be someone that takes other people's words, their, their way of doing things and replicate it replicate is an understatement like word for word it's what she would do this is someone where they'll come across a book that you've written they'll go and rewrite the book but word for word like someone does nothing but steal and pretend to be what they're not you're gonna have to walk away honey because this love offer you're sending this knight of wands in to come and give to someone is already known it's not genuine. It's disingenuous. So he's going to be rejected. So I don't know if you're going to plot on coming up with a new plan. Go ahead and do that. But whoever you're sending him towards this high priestess, they have foresight and they're going to be standing their ground. Someone is going to be put out of a home. Someone is being put out of a home. You're going to have to return their home. I don't know if someone stole a home. Something came up about a home in one of my readings yesterday. You're going to be put out of their home. Like someone feels trapped and you'll feel trapped because you're under judgment for the actions you took against someone else. You have no one to blame. And I don't know if you come from a family where accountability is not in your vocabularies, but honey, accountability, accountability, I'm being silly. Accountability is something you got to take, you got to take in life. You can't be out here blaming everybody. Take time to self-actualize, but you don't want to have to. Take time to heal. You don't want to have to. Take take time to what? Improve your skills. Learn so you can elevate. You don't want to have to. You want to keep what? Breadcrumbing people out here, sabotaging yourself, but what? Not taking accountability again for it. You can't blame anyone for what it is you do in life. How your life turns out, nothing. You are entitled to nothing. Work for what it is you want, but you, you don't like working for what it is that you want. You feel entitled to what belongs to other people. So you don't mind paying to have people what? Trap, bounded, set up, and all kinds of stuff. Is it, Honey, this time around, it's not going in your favor. You've done this before. This is not your first rodeo when it comes to destroying people's careers. This ain't your first rodeo. You don't did this many times before. You're afraid of your secrets coming out. 
You're afraid of an empress having a new beginning, coming out of the cold, right? Not being rejected by what? A king of wands, right? That wants to invest in them. So they're going to be taking actions to give them some type of contract or con uh, a proposal or something like that. Like there's a king of wands that's going through some type of healing or whatever it is he's going through behind the scenes. And she's afraid of him coming towards you, but he will be coming in. He sees you as an option. Someone is planning on coming in to put an end to this chapter, maybe living in fear. Okay. There's a king of swords as well. Maybe this king of wands is afraid that this king of swords is going to come in and give you some type of offer. It's what I'm seeing because he knows it will be very successful. Yeah. This king of swords coming in and giving you an offer will be successful. We have the freaking ace of cups, ace of wands and the two of cups out here. It'll be ridiculously, uh, 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 uh successful between the two of you and then we have the what baby it this is beautiful we have the freaking six of wands victory and this is going to cause a lot of distress towards an emperor going through a tower because he's way down about what he invested in against someone that's very genuine finding out that this person is like a temperance energy so it's like someone coming up against you to destroy you before finding out all of the information that they need to find out they basically partook in something based off of what other people told them about you in a situation and instead of them investigating maybe even approaching you to ask you questions they went along with whatever they were told and now they're burning behind the scenes because what they're wishing for your energy they want to be with you like you are a wish come through for them and they are burning because you found the strength to make it through something you stay focused right and this is causing them some type of distress emotional loss like they're embarrassed out here. It's like, I don't did, I don't went against the person that could have helped me. I've went against the, like, I don't know the man or the woman of my dreams or something like that. And they're confident that you will be having this new beginning. You will be receiving communication when it comes to your work and things like that about how he's been causing what stagnations, stalemates, confusions, and things like that about you. There's an emperor behind the scenes that does nothing but cause manipulations about a feminine energy. Like all they do is lie and they are afraid that the truth is going to come out and you're going to find out the truth. But I'm very sure if you're a high priestess out here, you know, you know, you know, I'm telling you, you know, and this is why you're going to be having like a, uh, uh, don't go any further. Don't come any further. Like I don't drew this line here. If you come across this line, it's a problem. So you're going to be like very guarded towards this person because you know what it is they've been doing. Now people know also that you are in the upright. So all of the illusions about you are not panning out anymore. And this is why this queen of wands and a group of other women behind the scenes are burdened because they committed themselves what, to destroying you. This queen of wands, there's something about this woman you all need to be very cautious of. Someone is dangerous at this point. She don't care what she got to do to destroy another person. She knows that even like hand to hand come back, she don't stand a chance against someone. So she may be thinking of unaliving someone. So you all need to be mindful. It's not even only the person that she's trying to block from receiving an offer. Like at this point, if someone tries to like talk some sense, in, like someone is just pissed off, like just easily irritable. It may even be something where it's beneficial to lock this person up for just a little while until they calm down. Or uh, have like the police watching her to make sure she don't go like to certain places. If she's going to work someone, they need to block her. This woman is dangerous. And I don't think people realize that she's dangerous. And again, whoever they're sending towards a high priestess, the high priestess know, and they're going to be rejected because she knows this person is a thief. They're trying to steal from her, trying to sneak her to block her, her abundance. This could be a queen of swords, high priestess that you are sending someone to. Or who she's coming towards. It's like they've been taking actions to block this person. But this woman, this queen of swords is holding back. She don't want nothing to do with anyone you're sending towards her. Because this woman knows she's aware of her victory. And she's aware that there's conflict going on behind the scenes. Among a family that has to do with a ten of pentacles. And this family, there could be people in there. 
thinking a little bit harder now and say, hey, man, we went about this the wrong way. We should have just talked to this person. I don't know if you all took someone's money and did something with it, or I think the courts may be protecting someone's money, but whatever it is, whether this is an offer in love or offer in business, a 10 of pentacles, some type of material wealth, because I'm seeing this nine of pentacles here that the family is not getting, and they know that someone is going to have wish fulfillment, will be getting on their path to focus on their mission and things like that, and they're watching this person trying knowing that this person this chapter is over this has been a long-winded and boring not boring chaotic chapter for no reason and it's over like they know why why are you all this is all for money it, these are the types of people they value money over people's lives so they don't care what it is they have to do to get that money and this woman she's dangerous not only for the person she's trying to trap and in She's dangerous for everybody, including you all that were working for her and with her. She's dangerous. Like this woman feels weighed down and burdened, having a lot of anxiety about two people coming together. Okay? Two people coming together. Because these are two people that are intuitively gifted. Two people that are very innovative, very creative, and they're going to be very successful. So she's out here living in fear about what it is. Like, what can I do to sabotage this relationship? She's living in fear. What do they know? What does he know? What does she know? What's going to happen to me? Maybe you go into jail. Like she knows someone has already chosen a queen of pentacles. This will be you collective to give to, to elevate, to support. Whatever someone tried to steal from you, or even if they stole it, it's going to be taken from them. They're going to have to move on. I don't know if there's like a king of pentacles trying to run or she's on the, trying to go on the run. Don't, don't bother. Don't bother because wherever you go, you're going to be even more way down. Someone may be plotting to go on the run. I don't know where you're going to go, baby. But you can run, run, run as fast as you can. They're still going to catch you. Run, forest, run. But you ain't getting nowhere. Okay? So, yeah. The decision is final. This chapter is over, but someone wants to keep dragging it out. Someone's very karmic. Like you not receiving whatever this abundance is, this is karmic justice. For someone, this whole family, they're not receiving it. You're not receiving it. Like two people will come together, build a ten of pentacles. These are two people that are like-minded. Very modest, down to earth, very calm, heal, or working on their healing. Wish come through for one another. Very genuine, resonant on the same frequency. Past life soulmates, possibly. Very nostalgic feeling between the two, right? These are two investors. That means they invest into the things and people that matter to them. Their aspirations, their dreams, and things like that. The king of wands may be going through some type of healing. Maybe going through some type of confusion. Maybe has some type of confusion based on what you all told him about what someone does for work. He's not confused anymore. What they're doing now is blocking someone from taking action. It's still going to happen. But I'm telling you, collective, be cautious. There's someone that wants to come in to gaslight you just so they can take you out. Like they said, they'd rather see you dead than to be out here happy. Whether you're a man or woman, they don't care. They don't care. They're sending someone to a high priestess. And whoever they're sending, maybe they know that it's not going to go. I don't know. Like, uh, mm. Someone knows a lot of illusions going on. I don't know if he's still going to go because he's being paid. I'm telling you, this family here, you ain't getting this stuff. The whole family is out in the cold. And the, like the family that's been plotting on someone's life, someone's mind, someone's stability, just someone overall, you ain't getting this uh, it's a pentacles. You're about to be in the five of pentacles. I don't know if you all used to be living some type of really good, good life. That's over. You're in the five of pentacles. Like you all are falling from grace where you used to be able to party, drink all you want, do whatever you want. That's over with. That's over. And you know it. That's what I'm telling you. You know it. You know it. You don't want from the five of pentacles to the four of pentacles. And that's justice. 
going through towers like there's there's a lot there's something where it's like a lot of truth is coming out so this woman is desperate to shut someone up go to her go shut that b up is what she's saying go shut that mother effer up i'm sick of her she's telling too much she knows too much how does she know what it is we're saying behind closed doors who's talking to her no one is talking to anyone this is a high priestess you're coming after. I'm telling you all, you, you're going to a four of pentacles. You don't went from the five of pentacles to the four of pentacles. You've had someone out here living in a four of pentacles energy. Now it's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. The wheel of karma. What goes around comes around. You reap what you sow in life. This is what this is. Okay? I'm telling you, the king of cups. This could be someone from your past or whatever this is. Nah. <laughs> this King of Cups is going through it. Someone thought they were leaving a, a woman that actually cared about him to go end up in what? <laughs> he thought he was going to go let the La Vita Loca betray you and things like that to partner up with a group of karmic people. He didn't know, didn't have his best interest at heart. They caused him illusions and told him what? You're going to be abundant. You'll get the money if you partner up with us. Uh, blah, 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 blah illusions now he's in what a full of pentacles energy reminiscing about you talking about i remember she was very genuine i remember he was very genuine if this is a same-sex relationship i remember they were very genuine and looked out for me someone is having a lot of nostalgic feelings about you and you ain't nowhere to be found all because he fell for illusions and it's finding out that you didn't do nothing to this person now he's crying a lot may want to come towards you to balance things out with you but he know you don't want to be bothered with him he said keep your distance i don't got no problems with you but it ain't no going back that we cannot turn back the hands of time so this person confidently know what is the end for him you will be having this ten of pentacles possibly with a king of pentacles right as in the upright and what you two will be moving on to karma waters healing this is possibly a union that's divinely meant to be this has people trapped in their mind, this whole friend group, community, whatever this is, because they know someone sees you as wish fulfillment. Someone sees you as an empress that is absolutely balanced, modest, has self-respect, self -respect, very powerful, very strong. Your strength and tenacity is unmatched is how this person sees you. So you will be moving on to calmer waters, which has people embarrassed out here for how it is that they treated you for no reason, because most of these people... All of these people cannot tell someone one thing that you did to them for why they treated you the way they did or why they did the things they did to you, why they tried to take you out. All of them are embarrassed. Even she is embarrassed, but she'll never admit that because you're still having this new beginning and will be victorious. You don't push through things people should not have to push through. That's what's leading to your victory. This is why when you're going through things and your ancestors say, just trust us, keep going, we got it. That's what it means. Keep going because what? They have foresight and know what it is people are doing behind the scenes to temper with the will of fortune, the, the karma. They're trying to temper with balance being brought into a situation. Your ancestors always know what it is that's going on. Obviously, they have foresight into the universe, into the future. So when they tell you, sit down, be quiet, focus on what it is we told you to focus on. Keep on healing, keep on mastering yourself, taking charge of your life and investing into what your happiness. Do that. Do that. It's a lot going on behind the, the scenes. People, when something happened, when something started, these people, they were laughing. It's like them tempering with your forward movement was a joke. P that platforms and things like that, people tempering with platforms and things like that, thinking it's a joke. Something has gotten serious. Something has gotten serious. Now they're living in fear because we're two people are, you must be meant to be with this King of Swords because it's coming out again with the, the, the Ace of Cups after him. And he does want to collaborate with you. Okay. He's pushing through something to come towards you. Whoever he is. Baby, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. It's like, yeah, he's, he's getting over to confusion, seeing the truth. You may have a few people that want to give you an offer, want to come towards you to tell you the truth, but this is your energy. And they can't blame you because of what the choices they made in the past or interfere with your energy, balance and things like that. Not wanting people to see you as wish fulfillment or as an empress. They wanted people to see you as a dark person. 
No one should give to you. No one should support you to try to even hinder your connection with your ancestors, your protections and things like that. But there's the truth being revealed, which means people are self-actualizing and they understand now that all of the confusion had to do with some type of opportunity, some type of money and things like that. People not wanting you to have a new beginning. This is like someone coming after you and you're not even paying them any mind the whole time. They're, they're trying to cause confusions and conflicts and things like that. Try to keep trying to keep you at a stalemate and you're not paying them any mind. You say, you know what? I know what you're doing, but I'm going to focus on my, on my journey. But they're still trying to interfere with balance. And so the ancestors step in and say, you know what? We're about sick of you. We're about to, we're about sick of you. So they're causing havoc in someone's life. They ain't having no beginning, new beginnings. Someone is not a queen of pentacles. Someone is not a queen of pentacles in the upright because they've been plotting on how to work in you. It says someone takes on the energy that she thinks someone, uh, other people need so they can see her as what? fit for the job whatever the job is so they're out here crying because what you're moving on you're healing i'm telling you you're healing someone wants to work with you someone wants to balance things out someone is like i'm telling you there is a king of cups that's stuck in some type of horrendous relationship or situation someone may even be poor homeless about to be homeless whatever this is like stuck in some type of situation and all he's going to be doing is sitting and thinking of you, how you used to look out for him, how you look so, used to take care of him, how you tried to work with him, how you were healing towards him. When he went through hard times where you sat there and talked with him and tried to talk him out of the darkness, when he was all in his mind where you would call, talk to him, try to talk him out of it. That, hey, get out of that negative mindset. This is not where you're supposed to be because that's going to lead to an ending. You're manifesting endings for yourself and things like that. Like you are someone saving grace in their peace, basically like their home, right? And they turned their back on you to collaborate with a group of people. And it has led to nothing but misfortune because this is a decision he made. He has no one to blame for that. There's justice. There's justice. Now he's remembering, oh, I had a whole temperance energy the whole time. I had a whole angel with me the whole time. Okay? You could have a stat Sagittarius that's trying to come towards you to give you an offer, baby. Thread with caution. This person wants to have a new beginning, to have a ten of pentacles. This will be a king of pentacles kind of Sagittarius. This man's been showing up a lot in my readings. I don't know what the heck his problem is. Every time he comes up, he wants me to shush. Sir, we don't know who you are. We got to tear our collective so she knows, right? There is a queen of cups out here. There's burden about two people getting married. Honey, they is going to get married. They is and will get married. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You're going to have to find you something to get your mind off of this reality. You're about to witness because a lot of you, you're, you're about to have a front row seat. To see someone thrive in life, the very, I'm telling you, a front row seat. I said front row seat and the justice card came out. You're going to have a front row seat to see someone's life balanced out. Okay? And they're going to be putting an end to this chapter of you all playing with them. Tempering with their life. Tempering with their resources. And they're going to be moving on and you all will be out here in this energy. Why are you out here sad, depressed because someone is having victory? You should not ever be this focused on another person's life. Especially because of finances. It's like someone tried to swipe destiny with another person. The, whoever... Whatever this is, they're putting the, the universe is that now we're putting an end to disingenuous friendships, disingenuous connections in our collective life. You cannot come in and give someone some type of disingenuous friendship. We know you have a lot of emotions for them, you have a lot of passion for them, but have you healed though? Have you put in the work to actually heal and balance things out? No, then no, you can't come towards them because we don't got time to waste those. The universe wants you to know you're on the right track, you're on the right track. This stuff don't make no sense. People just committed to taking someone else down. Maybe some of you are about to be out here overbooked and busy. Like if your business was slow before or people were blocking your businesses from being seen or blocking your businesses from growing. Baby, it's, the universe is about to flip that sucker so far up. It's like, uh-uh, honey, you, you have done enough. You've been patient enough. You're putting out the work we asked you to do. You've done your part. It's time to, it's time to elevate. Look at, listen, it says what? Fast progress. So the universe is balancing something out because the truth is being exposed. Someone's been out here blocking someone's uh, 
future, destiny, abundance, all based on a lie. And people, they didn't know this person was lying about you. Now that they know, they don't want to be part of something because it's all been based on a lie, based on jealousy, wanting to be someone else. The heck are you doing trying to be like someone else? And then she got the audacity to be out here wishing that a king of cups will give her what? An offer. This could be a different king of cups. Someone, someone, listen, this is what I'm hearing. There's a woman out here that got with someone's ex. It could have been even while you were with this man because what well, she wanted him to know that she was a better option. She wanted to hurt you. She wanted you to find out that the two of them were getting married and it was supposed to break your heart. Baby, this is a whole high priestess you're trying to play little game, girl games with. They don't care. These are people that have a higher understanding of how things work. So if he leaves her to go be with you, she said, oh, thank you, ancestors. Oh, I'll, thank you. Obviously, he's not meant to be with me. She ain't gonna waste no time crying. Because you know what? She's been with this sucker long enough to know what it is he's about. And she's just waiting for the right time for that contract to be broken. Okay? He was trying to hold on to this woman for as long as possible because someone found out that he had a whole gift. So he may have even went out of his way trying to bond this woman to him. To him. Now you're stuck with a uh, monster was about to come out, but I'm not, I'm not about to be out here calling people monsters. You're out here stuck with a problem. You thought you were getting what someone's, you thought you were getting someone's man, but you got someone's problems. Now you don't want the problems. No, 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 honey. You're going to have to keep them problems. Don't, there's no return to sender over here. Keep him. Keep him. We forbid you to send this sucker back to our high priestess. No, uh, uh, keep him, keep him. Madam, you don't, uh, fu you don't fuck up real bad. You don't fuck up real bad. Madam, you go keep him. Keep him. I beg, keep him. Don't vex. This is for someone specific. It's a woman out here that got with your partner while you were with him because she wanted to outdo you. She wanted you to see the two of them together so your heart could be broken. The whole time she didn't know she was taking on your problems. It's the thing with these dumb little girls out here that move like this. In competition with everybody but themselves. The only person you should be in competition with is the woman or man you were yesterday. Nobody else. So she don't came out here to somebody's man. I know when she was taking somebody's problems. Now they're unhappy together. Can't stand each other. He can't stand her. She can't stand him. Maybe she got with him for money. There ain't no money. Meanwhile, you have abundance coming your way. And she's about to sit back and witness you. Thrive in life, elevate in life. And he's gonna witness too because this is a mother sucker you were loyal to as can be. Ooh, you you were loyal to this person and they're finding out. This is why this six of cups is out here. A brother is finding out you were actually solid. It's a oh my gosh, I don't F up Roy. I don't fuck up. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. We ain't gonna be as you, sir. You don't fuck up real bad. You left a whole high priestess. Empress energy. Page of Cups energy. Meaning she's very genuine. Healed down to earth. In touch with her spirituality. Was genuine with you. Authentic with you. You left her to go be with a narcissist. You got what you deserve. You got what you deserve. Fast progress. It said move forward with swift precision and do what must be done now. Charge forward. Listen, your ancestors about to be elevating you right in front of your enemies. Okay. Yeah, you need the strength to keep moving forward. Uh-huh. And you do. Your the leg when you see a leg that like big symbolically, it has to do with strength. Like you're someone that's naturally strong, your tenacity and things like that. People don't you know like how sometimes you'll see you'll see someone in this energy, like a page of cups energy, they seem very young, naive and youthful and you know, blah, 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 blah. And you underestimate them and then you come for them and then you find out, oh, that's a whole beast. Yeah. It's one of those. The universe says, well, you're naturally strong and keep on using your strength to push through all these, these obstacles people are putting in front of you because what is going to put you on a level that's unreachable by a lot of people in society. Like your enemies are about to be sitting back and watching you thrive and elevate. And it's all going to be due to the fact that they basically helped you 
achieve greatness. Because if you don't go through these kind of experiences with these kind of people, you'll never be able to have the lessons to give to other people, the story to tell. Can you imagine trying to help people heal, but you've never been through anything? This is why you're going through this. Because you're going to be an example for other people. Say, hey, hey, uh, Miss High Priestess, Mr. High Priestess, I'm going through this. And they'll say, hey, man, I went through that. This is how I got through it. This is how you get through it. This is what you're about to be for people. And she's, someone's going to watch you. Some of these people are about to be locked up and will be watching you. Some of you on TV. Why you are being elevated. 31, for protection from the spirit realm, completion, and things like that. Your approach to life is an effective mix of both practicality and imagination. Your mind is staring with creative ideas, and you have the organization and skills to manifest them to life. I am disciplined, and that's all you need. That's the leg about being naturally strong, and you need discipline to get to where it is you are. Who told you? Success was easy. Who told you healing was easy? That's why I always preach healing on here is not an easy thing. It's a lifelong commitment from the time you come on this realm to the time you leave this realm. That's your healing journey. It ain't easy, never meant to be easy, never has been, never will be easy. But you got to commit yourself to it. And nobody says you're going to get it perfect every time. You're going to flop. You're going to flop sometimes. But hey, when you do, get back up, learn from that situation and keep on going. We don't care who is laughing at you. We don't care who's watching, who understands, who does not understand. None of that matter. It's all about your journey. You doing what works for you. You healing in the way that works for you because healing is not not a linear thing. It's different for everybody. How I heal is not how you're going to heal. It's different for everybody. And I'm not completely healed. No one is completely healed. I don't care who you meet. Even your therapist, your psychiatrist, they need a therapist and a psychiatrist too. So it's not nothing that's a complete process. It's ongoing. And this is why we encounter different situations in life. You encounter one situation, you learn from it, heal from it, move on to the next one, learn from it. Heal. That's why you, it keeps going, honey. Sorry, oh, my ears were itching. <laughs> Breakthrough. Look, man, like your ancestors, the universe are looking out for you. Breakthrough. Navigate life's many twists and turns with elegance and resilience. Magic opportunity resilience and elegance and this is what people mistaking sometimes because when they're coming after you and you have that elegance about you and i'm not trying to boast about myself but this is how i've always handled stuff and people don't know, realize that oh honey you ain't about to have me out here on the street looking crazy and stuff like that with my 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 locks sticking out looking like a, a little wing dreadlocks today not back in the days uh-uh Baby, what you're going to see when you see me in the street? Oh, baby, looking beautiful as always. Head up high, smile on my face. And if I see you, say hi and everything. Baby, I don't see some, some of my stalkers, the one that was trying to have me in this kind of energy. I see them in the store, drive by my house, pop up in locations. They shouldn't be there. I say hi. How you doing? They say hi. I say hi. Baby, you ain't going to catch me. Uh uh, nah. Crying in the streets? Nope. Nope. I handle my stuff behind doors, closed doors. And when I come out, what you're going to see is a smile on my face, and that smile is authentically there because you know what? I know what the F is backing me up. I know my, listen, I'm the high priestess, right? So I got foresight. <laughs> I, know what, I know what's about to go down. What I need is just the strength to keep, to keep going. And you're going to find out. I may be in this energy when you see me. Hi, honey. How you doing? But baby, what you going to meet? Hey, and I don't mind what stepping into this energy too when I need to. Because you know what? I'll disregard you 10,000 times. But it's going to be that one time that I respond. And then you, that's how it always goes too. You can't ignore these kind of people 10,000 times, but the one time you respond because that's all you need to do is respond one time, game over. Then what do they do? Oh, she's a B, he's a B. 
I don't I can't stand that mother effer. They did this to me. Why aren't you telling people what it is you did to this person behind the scenes? Why aren't you telling this, these people that you were breaking into someone's phone? Why aren't you telling people you were stealing this person's money? Why aren't you telling people you were lying on this person? Why aren't you telling people you were trying to set this person up to get killed, to get locked up and all kinds of stuff? Why aren't you telling all of that? Why aren't you telling people you committed yourself to what? Defaming someone, destroying someone. But the one time that they respond to your BS, you want to cry wolf. Come on. Make it make sense. 88, abundance, the number of abundance, infinite abundance. Sums down to what? Seven, luck. Okay, it said you are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. Uh, thank you. That's confirmation from the spirit realm. Your ancestors, that is of pentacles is coming towards someone. It ain't your enemy. I can guarantee you that because the spirit realm is watching everything and they know who exactly has been putting in the work. You have a karmic woman out here that has been absolutely gun ho on pretending to be someone else so that they can switch destinies with you. It don't work that way. You really think like the universe does not know how life has been playing out from the time things started. People are on a journey, so it don't matter how many times they incarnate. There are things from past lifetimes that still are applicable to the journeys that we are on in this lifetime. So there's something someone did in a past lifetime that they earn the abundance they're receiving in this lifetime. And even in this lifetime, there are things that they've done to receive this Ace of Pentacles. You haven't done the work because you've been out here stealing, feeling entitled, and you'll have the audacity to be pissed off or bitter because you're not getting what does not belong to you. That ain't how life works. You haven't even balanced your emotions with this Five of Swords showing up after you. You are someone that's dedicated to stealing, blocking, and destroying. You're cold and bitter as heck on the inside. Cold, bitter, malicious. Lost cause. There are certain people in life that you take your time to talk to because you see hope in them. And you know if you're just patient with them long enough, they'll come around. They same one of these people. So whoever's around this queen of wands, you need to run for the hills. You need to distance yourself from this woman because someone's brain cells don't work the way. Like if the empty vessel. Empty vessel. Ain't nothing in there void of human emotions all this woman knows is i want money i don't care how i get it i don't care if i did the work or not i feel entitled to it so i'm gonna get it you ain't getting it you ain't getting it you've been being hunted that's what i keep hearing about you every time you show up hunted but you're disregarding all of that and still out here trying to destroy someone girl sit down somewhere sit down somewhere What's our, our healing crystal of the day? Sit down somewhere. Nobody got time to be playing with you, Karen. You a whole Karen out here. Black or white, Karen. You a whole Karen. Come on. Oh, we got three. Ooh, we have the Labradorite crystal, which is one of my crystals. That's a crystal that is... A balance with both feminine and masculine energy. So if you're ever looking for a crystal with that, that kind of uh, energy where it's both men, both masculine and feminine energy balanced together, get a Labradorite crystal. This is good for your third eye, opening your third eye, seeing things clearly and things like that. Okay. Um, it helps with like, Laura, I don't even want to say this. <laughs> You may have someone that is in your life that wants you to be merciful for them and they want you to see things, you know, maybe from their point of view. It ain't this woman. It's there, there's a man that's hoping that a woman is going to see things from his perspective and see why it is he did something. Because when I said merciful, I saw a picture of a man. He is hoping that you can try to understand why it is he went about things the way he did. Now, Honey, I can't tell you how to handle the situation, but as a high priestess, we do have like 
you know, a upper hand kind of way in situations where we have foresight and know things other people don't know. Everybody is not like us, obviously. So we understand things on a grander level than other people do. So even though we may know the future, understand life from different perspective, and we have a clearer understanding of why things are playing out the way they do or they are, there are people in life that don't have those privileges. So even if you're like really, if you're upset with someone or you just don't want to be bothered by someone, if they make the effort to talk to you, just listen to them, hear what they have to say. We're not saying that you have to reestablish or even establish some type of connection with them or reconnection with them. Just listen because there's something to learn in the situation. And I know you don't want to hear that, especially when it comes to access and things like that. Sometimes just listen to them. But you don't need to, you don't have to connect with them. And that's the mistake people make is that they think just because you're talking to someone or they're asking you for forgiveness or they're explaining something to you, then that means you two got to go back to being friends or you two got to go back to dating. No, you don't. Simply just listen sometimes, not every time, but just simply take the opportunity sometimes to listen to certain people because we all grow up different, right? So how you grew up gave you a different uh, 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 a different uh, uh, perspective to life and how he grew up give him a different perspective to life it's like think of think of like kids that are like in men that are like in gang or they're into like like that rugged that rough way of living where it's like they're misogynist their way is the highway and then you as a feminine energy you come from a different background where it's that men treated you with respect they didn't have any type of misogynistic mind mindset they didn't look down on you and things like that or they didn't think that their words were more important to yours right you came from two different backgrounds so he sees things one way and you see things another way you don't have to agree with what it is he says and things but maybe even you just talking to him may open his mind or his his heart to see things a little different just from you conversating with him. J just listen. That's all. You don't got to get with them. You don't got to be friends with them. Him, not her. This woman is a lost cause. I'm sorry. Whoever this is, lost cause. I'm not talking about her. Okay. Um, and then the next crown. Uh uh uh. uh I mean, the next chakra is the crown chakra. So someone may need to get in touch with their spiritual side, need to, there's some type, something about dreams. Like someone may be trying to communicate with you in dreams. So you need to uh, um, pay attention to that. I think we have the selenite crystal out here. Yeah. And this one is having to do with vitality, like you're clearing your mind. Seeing things or understanding things. Yeah, understanding things clearly. Seeing things clearly. Like literally all the chakras out here has to do with either the third eye chakra or the crown chakra. Which has to do basically with seeing things clearly from a different perspective or a higher perspective. So this is what the universe is challenging you to do. That hey, we know that this person may have pissed you off or did a whole lot to cause you ending, endings, right? We have the Malachi crystal as well, and that has to do with your third eye chakra. So the universe is asking you, one, to pay attention to your spirituality. Like, clear your, your third eye if it's blocked. Like, focus on your spirituality because this is where your abundance lies. You're on the right path, the right track, okay, with this. But they're also asking you, there's someone in your life, this is a masculine energy that grew up a specific way in a specific environment around certain types of people. So his mindset is clouded, okay, is distorted. He may want to talk to you to clear things up. Listen to him. Just listen. That's all they're asking you to do is just listen. He may want to ask you for advice. Don't get any more involved into the situation than that. If you have advice to give him, give it and leave it at that. Don't get, in, do not get physically involved. Don't talk to any parties involved other than him. If he asks you for advice, that's where you're supposed to leave it. Okay. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next week. Goodbye for now.